I have some very exciting news. This is my first egg cluster in my closed loop system. So 100% cycle success. I am thrilled to death. Uh, this is in the gap on the leg of the platform that was in the love cage. It's not in the love cage now. You can see that I've already moved it out of the love cage into the kind of hatch out nursery cage. And what I've done is I have put the leg of the platform, which has the eggs into a little container. So you can see uh, this container is, um, you know, has some of the food. So once the larvae hatch and they drop down, they'll drop down into food. I don't have this kind of set up in the same way in the love cage. So if I didn't move the larvae out of the love cage and give them some food, they wouldn't have any food when they hatch. And that's obviously, you know, not a good situation. So I thought the better thing to do was to take this platform out of the love cage and uh, bring it in to the hatch. Let's take a look again. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. And uh, what I do have is a second, quote, identical platform. Let me zoom out a little bit. That I did put into the love cage to replace it. Let me see, here it is. So this is, you know, the identical one. And I'm actually gonna go in here shortly with the hopes that I have some eggs that have been laid either on the eggy or on the platform because i'm telling you at this point i don't really care where those females are laying their eggs as long as they're giving them to me all right so fantastic closed loop system i've got it working now of course i do need to repeat this a couple of times to make sure that i just didn't get lucky and i really have a system that works so stick with me as we continue to take this one step at a time.